often tune into Lotus FM when I'm driving to make the traffic a bit more bearable. And I've had a good giggle when Neville's prank called an unsuspecting victim. Then I was lucky enough to spend part of the summer in Durban, but I never thought Neville would get my number. 87.7 to 106.8. It's the morning rush. So, a uh, little birdie tells me that we got Zakia Patel from Mela coming in. I'm going to call her pretending to be Riyad Musa's agent for the movie that she was in. She was in material. So, we got a new movie called Off Cut Material. So, let's call up Zakia Patel. It's ringing. Zakia Patel speaking. How may I help you? Is that Zakia? How can I help you? I don't know, I mean, I want you to come in. Uh, you're going to be in a new movie called uh, Off Cut Material. Off Cut Material? Yeah, we saw you in the first movie. Look, your performance, uh, yeah, it was okay, but we were you to do it. How did you get my number? How I got your number? What do you mean, how I got your number? Can I give you my agent's details so you can go through them? Oh, excuse me. I must call you, I must call your agent. I was going, oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, where did you get my number from? What, what do you say? I can't hear you, ma'am. Sorry, speak up a little more. You need to stand up. You're quite short. Stand up. Maybe your voice can throw out a little more. <laughs> Thank you for your time. And I would love to send you my agent's details. And then you can go through there. Zakia, it's Neville Palay from Lotus FM. How are you? Neville? <laughs> Neville? Neville, you are awful. I can't believe you. Yeah, I listen, you can come and take off with me when you come to the studio, OK? We're waiting for you. I I will be coming through, Neville. I will be coming through to chat to you. Bye. Yeah. I'm gonna go get Neville. As the saying goes, revenge is a dish best served cold. Well, here I am with egg on my face, and thousands of people in KZN have just heard how I got pranked by the incorrigible Neville Pele. Well, Neville, the tables are about to be turned and I'm going to get you back on the other side of the screen and the microphone. So be warned. So in the meantime, enjoy today's episode of Sunshine More. We'll chat to you shortly. It's the Morning Rush. Oh my goodness! She's here! <laughs> she wasn't even joking! Hello there, Neville. How are you? I'm very good, and yourself? Sure. I'm actually a little nervous that you actually turned up because I had scam call wasn't my idea. Let me just go and quickly do a link here. Um, Lotus FM 87.7 to 106.8. It's the morning rush for Neville Palais. Zakia Patel is here and the crew at Mela are busy filming in the studio. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and have a chat with her and get that confirmation. A little bit about yourself. Zakia, I'm a Durbanite through and through. Um, I love this city. Um, father of two, stand up comedian, radio DJ, actor, writer, pretty much anything in the entertainment business. Where do you get time to do all of that? I love the thrill of that deadline. You know, I finished the show in three hours. We got another hour to produce for the next day or two hours. And then I got to be at the gym and take my kid to school and then pick my kid up back from school. And then I got to go and take care of myself and then do a voiceover and then go to a little shoot and, you know, write uh, for the newspaper at the end of the week. It's all these things. Uh, you know, I'd rather do that than just be sitting around doing nothing. When did you first fall in love with the radio and the idea of being an entertainer? I was four years old and I used to listen to the radio and all the old uncles were around playing Tani and having a few drinks and I would know exactly when the news would be on, I would know the different stations, who the presenters were and this was at four. Uh, so I knew then, I just wanted to meet those people inside the radio, open it up and see who's singing in there. Neva, how did you make your breakthrough as a DJ? I was 18 years old and I was going through my, my electricity bill at home and I saw a little uh, in a house radio station for at a retail store. So I took a bus to the city center, went to that store, took me two hours to find the radio station, told the station manager at the time, here's my demo tape, my name's Neville, I wanna be on your radio station. And after he kicked me out, he promised to call me next week and he did call me. Where do you find material for your comedy? If you come into contact with me for more than two minutes, your material for the comedy. Um, so everybody, from the banker, to the baker, to the candlestick maker, to somebody I met at, you know, having a session fishing with, or somebody I just met, uh, you, know, you know, it's there, it's politics, it's, it's reading the newspaper, it's, it's relationships, it's family. Not even family are exempt from, you know, becoming material in a comedy show. Neville, I'm not in Durban often, and I would love it if you could join me for a bunny chow. Really? So she's really going to crush a bunny chow with me? Yeah, I'd like to. All right, great. Okay, first thing, you've got to lose the fork and the knife. We use our hands here. Of course I'll use 
is my hair. Oh, great. I love it. Oh, yeah. Let's go get that bunny <laughs> Let's job. get a bunny job. Let's go get a bunny job. Zaki told Neville she knew just the place. All right. What are we doing here? We're going to have a bunny chow. Okay. I'm like, the shark is going to have a bunny no, chow. No, 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 no. The shark said, and. Ah, uh, man. It'll be so bad! But it's a big shark. I know. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to get into the shark tank. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Before getting their feet wet, Neville and Zaki learnt a little more about their hosts. Sharks have the most fearful reputation worldwide and I think they are incredibly misunderstood animals. If you look at the number of shark attacks that happen worldwide every year, less than 10 people actually die from shark attacks. More people are killed by toasters, by lightning, by a coconut falling on your head than by shark attacks. When they do attack us, they often either confuse us for food and they take a tiny little bite just to explore. And once they taste that we are not what they normally eat, they spit us out. Because if you ask a shark, they probably don't think we taste very nice. Neville, are you ready to give me that pound of flesh? Guess what? Let's do it. Great. Neville hoped that a wetsuit would make him less appetizing because once in the tank, the only thing separating them from the predators was a thin layer of acrylic. This being Durban, the water was pleasantly in the 20s. But even if it had been five degrees warmer, Zaki and her diving partner wouldn't have been able to hide a certain shiver as they slipped below the surface. The Zambezi sharks and their slightly smaller cousins, the white tip reef sharks, treated the two humans with a degree of disdain, much to Neville's relief. It's not often that a situation renders this motormouth DJ speechless, but he would tell you that it was just because he was holding his breath. Despite his pre-dive nerves, Neville seemed a little reluctant to head back to the surface. How did you find that? You know what? It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be, right? How do you relax and unwind after a long day of making people laugh? I watch a lot of videos, a lot of YouTube. I'm on the internet surfing. Because as an entertainer, as a stand-up comedian, you've got to keep up with what's happening. Uh, and then afterwards, it's usually a bowl of popcorn, feed up, watching TV. Any advice for aspiring comedians? Yeah, if you want to be a stand-up comedian, first you've got to look within yourself and talk about things that you know. Stop making stuff up. You go on stage and you make stuff up, people can suss that out. People can tell that you didn't really go through that. Talk about things that are important to you and stuff that you went through. That's what comedy is about. It's an extension of your life. Neville, what do you hope the future holds for you? I hope that, you know, all this work that I've done in entertainment and radio inspires a new generation. Neville, thank you so much for spending the day with me and for all the laughs. Well, thank you very much. It's been my absolute pleasure, uh, Zaken. You're a lovely person. And I just got one more question for you. <laughs> Where's that bunny child? Oh! I'm not the first innocent bystander to be caught by Neville, but I'm definitely the first to get him back. Laughter is healthy, even when you're laughing at yourself. And Neville is definitely a specialist in this field of comedic medicine. I'm going to go grab that bunny.